Hey, a pleasant good day, good afternoon, good morning, wherever it is where you're watching this. But this is going to be a quick next video on the women's prelims in the Olympics as we're doing a video on Denmark versus China, where the host country of China was able to beat Denmark with two late goals, 3-2-1. I was really impressed, though, early, though. This is Denmark's first time in the Olympics in the women's tier, and they looked really good in the first period, uh, setting up their play while uh, <clears throat> making themselves the presence felt, I should say, on the ice. And really did play a good smooth first period. But before I go on, please continue to subscribe down below. Above them, these use widget to help us get to 200 by the end of February. But again, Denmark did really establish themselves significantly well in the first period. And then China seemed to really regroup, do well. I guess uh, they must have talking and, and regrouping in the first period break. Because after the first, they really took this game over. Doubled them up in shots. Uh, more, more than doubled them up in shots in the second and doubled them up in shots just by, I think it was one shot um, in the third, or like 11-5 to five, if I remember correctly, uh, in favor of China. So after the first period, Denmark was not nearly as impressive, and the big thing that I think lost this game for Denmark was the inefficiencies on the power play, which China also had, but China played much better 5-on-5 five five hockey that the inefficiencies on the power play didn't really mean is much to them at, at any degree because they played very good and very efficient and very squeaky clean five on five wise um th that 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 really helped them out where China was able to have the first goal um that they were able to get uh to tie it up uh when uh when Lin Q, when Lin Q uh Lin Key excuse me evened it up for China on a deflection goal, uh, which was their 24th shot of the game. Uh, so they were getting shot after shot after shot. <clears throat> um, they were able to get on net. It's just they were not able to um, get it past uh, Rupstock Rome, uh, who the 20-year-old, this is not the juniors, this is the Olympics. She played like a bat out of hell, like an absolute magician in net. Play fantastic, made some good breakaway saves, made some good breakout saves against China's breakouts or a couple breakaways they actually had and a couple high-octane shots they had and scoring chances uh, that were A-level scoring chances. So um, I think she played Rupstock Rome absolutely fantastic in Denmark's first game. Denmark overall, I would say, played a B-minus to B-level game. She played an A-level game, Rupstock Rome. Uh, but they stayed in it with the host country. This is their first Olympic game. Uh, and and it was really impressive how they looked in the first and came in and played the host country. Then China responded, uh, played really well. Uh, Franzen was the one to get the first goal on a rebound after a shot off the boards, which is just smart and wise of the of the uh, degree of any shot is a good shot. Get it on net, especially when you have traffic and your guy and your um ladies crashing the net, I should say. And uh, she was able to have a very nice. Um, instinct crashing the net there and going to the right spot and then being able to pot the rebound in France and what for the first goal by Denmark uh, where then when it came to later in this game <clears throat> um, we had in the second period uh, in order to make it two to one that was Lenny who was able to score to make it two to one, uh, which was on a um, uh, which was on which was on a, a nice uh, cut to the net uh, play that she was able to get the goal on. Excuse me, as I had a brain fart there trying to remember that play, <laughs> looking at my notes. That was on a nice cut to the net by Linny as she was able to really instinctually get to the net, know where to go to and know where to read to be able to get to the right position to receive a puck and be able to get it um, on on net for the goal there. And then Lin Key was able to seal it with the empty net goal, of course, later in this game. But to recap, I think the big impressive thing in this game was Denmark came in and established themselves early. This is their first Olympic Games. Even in a loss, I would say they played B-minus to B-effort of uh, being able to only lose by two goals and go to the bitter end. I mean, the, the, they scored their goal in the last moment 
uh, Lene, uh, in order to give China the lead on that nice uh, cut to the net where she got that chip pass that was pretty fortunate, but a nice play at the same time. A uh, star of this game has to be Rough Stock Rome. She kept uh, Denmark in this game to be able to have China only win the game in the final moments, where uh, literally in the final moment, I should say, uh, where uh, that was really in a big degree to Rough Stock Rome. Lene. And uh, Ling Ki are definitely the other two players of the game uh, for Team China there. This was a great game for them. They responded after, oddly enough, losing their first game 2-1 to one against Czech Republic. That, If you want to check out that recap, I, I, can put, I will link that playlist that all these recaps of the videos are on uh, at the end here if you want to check those out. But oddly enough, they lost 3-1. They won this game 3-1, to one, though, and got their first win as the host country against Denmark, who was a good skilled team it's just their first olympics they're not used to this environment and it's probably easier honestly for a new team to play without the ridiculous uh, crowd of the host country um so they played well they did well it's all about building to the next game for denmark just like china really built and played a much better game particularly after the first period in this one but a much better game overall from the first game that they really did not play all too well against the Czech Republic. But everybody have a great saving plus day. Enjoy the rest of the Olympics and enjoy the rest of the hockey, whether you watch the NHL with the All-Star game or whether you watch the KHL, SHL, whatever league you watch. Enjoy the great game of hockey. Peace out, everybody. Please subscribe down below or up above uh, on the easy-to-use widget to continue to get us to the 200 subscriber goal by the end of February. Peace out. Stay safe and enjoy the great game of hockey.